Hi, and welcome to the 850 eTech's electrical system training. The 850 eTech has a brand new electrical system. Let's take a look. The eTech electrical system is unique in that it produces the high voltage necessary for the eTech injectors and other high voltage components at low RPMs and without the need for a battery. However, some models come with a battery. Adding a battery has very little influence on how the electrical system actually operates. The heart of the 850 eTech's electrical system is its ability to generate 55 volts. On the left, we have a new rotor, and on the right, the new stator. Notice the three terminal connector. A three-phase magneto with a star winding produces 55 volts and over 30 amps of alternating current to power all the components and accessories. The three coils are wired into a three-phase circuit with the output going directly to the ECM. The magneto generates AC voltage that is rectified and regulated by the ECM. Here are the key points for the 850 ETEX ECM. It has two connectors a 5 16 of an inch fuel line connection. It's not interchangeable with other ETEC ECMs. The connectors are compatible with the standard ECM adapter service tool. It communicates via BUDS2. There is no atmospheric pressure vent hose connection like on previous ETEC ECMs. There's a new pressure and temperature sensor on the intake silencer. The vehicle speed sensor is connected to the ECM. The ECM sends the speed signal to the cluster via CAN. The ECM is the computerized brain of the vehicle. The ECM manages the 55, 12 and 5 volt systems and ensures there is an adequate power supply to critical components. The ECM contains the voltage rectifier regulator, the DC to DC converters 5 and 12 volts, and the charging system relay on models with a battery. A unique feature of all eTech ECMs is that the fuel cools the internal components. A DC to DC converter is an electronic circuit which converts a source of direct current from one voltage level to another. The DC to DC converter in the ECM steps down the 55 volts to 5 volts when the capacitor is powered and 12 volts when the engine reaches 800 RPM. Below 2000 RPM, the total available current is limited to reduce the load on system voltage. The capacitor acts as a temporary reserve of DC power. Capacitors are sealed and cannot be serviced. The capacitor ens ensures there is enough power stored for the demands of the high voltage components. It is connected in parallel with the 55 volt circuit to smooth out the ripples in the magneto output current. The capacitor drains through the DC to DC converter in about a minute. However, be careful, it is charged by the battery when connected to buds. The high voltage system includes the main vehicle components required for engine starting, running and lubrication. The components receive power before the 5 and 12 volt systems. The primary 12 volt system includes components that are necessary but not critical for optimal engine and vehicle functions. The 5 volt system includes reference voltage for engine management sensors. The secondary 12 volt system includes optional vehicle accessories and non-critical components and functions.